Okay, I'm going just along with the uh, whoop, 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 uh, oogie boogie uh, news media stuff that uh, is presented out there. Again, if you can keep a person in a state of fear, rational or irrational, logical or illogical, they will stay in the world of the mind. They will stay in the world where they think things are logical and rational and they don't have to think. And, and they will do things that they don't that don't make any sense, but you can't tell them from there. Uh, the news article was that there are 15,000 sharks swarming towards Florida. And that you don't know, but that when you're swimming in the waters of Florida, that you uh, are within 60 feet of sharks. Oogie boogie, oogie boogie, oogie boogie. Okay, at the end of the article, at the end of the article, it casually states that they're very rare uh, very few shark bitings in this part of Florida. Uh, there's a couple of things to think about. Sharks don't particularly have a flavor for mam mammalian blood. They're, uh, yes, predators, but they go after the fish. Uh, the mammals is not that, not, not their favorite foods, apparently. I've listened to shark experts who have said that. Uh, when they get really desperate, they will go after. Uh, oft times, uh, shark attacks are mistakes. People wearing glittery jewelry and the, and the sharks think they're going after something they're not. And immediately when they take hold, they let loose. I've scuba dived. There have been sharks around me. I've seen sharks in the water around me. It, it makes you a little jumpy. But I've never been bothered by one. Uh, I was traveling to Maui years ago. One of my friends who enjoys the oogie boogie and uh, uh, was talking and he said to me, oh, be careful, be careful. Uh, there's been an increase in shark attacks and they're out killing sharks in, in Hawaii. The, it's, there's been a significant increase uh, in the last little while. And the native Hawaiians are upset because they consider the sharks their ancestors and there shouldn't be uh, wholesale slaughter of their ancestors, which I don't think there should be wholesale slaughter of an anything on the planet, but eh, that's my personal view. Um, as my life goes, I was getting off the airplane, there was a man in front of me, and I said, you know, excuse me, are you from here? And he said, yeah, he said I was on in the mainland for a conference. And he said, okay, I, I don't know why I'm asking you. I said, but a, a friend of mine told me that there's been an increase in shark attacks in the last few months and that it's dangerous. And he turned and he was maybe 6'2", so significant taller, significantly taller than me. And uh, he said, wow. He said, you chose a funny person to ask that question of. And I said, what? He said, I'm the emergency room doctor uh, in Honolulu. I, I handle all the traumas and shark bites are one of my specialties. He said, there have been, in the last couple of months, some dramatic shark. He said, no increase, no increase in the incident of shark attack. But he said some dramatic ones. He said, there was a woman, I think it was on Maui, who swims every day, and she saw dolphins, so she swam out to swim with the dolphins, but uh, they weren't. <laughs> so I don't mean to laugh at that, but you know, if I'm swimming in the ocean, I see a fin, and I, I, when I was in Galveston a few years ago, I saw one, and it spooked me, and I headed back to shore, then I saw them rolling, and I knew they were dolphins, but uh, it just takes a couple minutes to stop and look and see whether that's a shark fin or a porpoise fin. And uh, if you've been swimming in the ocean for any length of time, the thing to do if, you, if they look like shark fins is to head in another direction. I mean, that's my advice. Uh, he said that was dramatic because uh, the woman was killed. And there was one other incident. Uh, he said, but increase? No. No, he said, they're, they're rare. They're as rare as they've always been. Uh, we were in Cuba, and there were some girls in the water. Uh, I think the second day we were there, and they, they just, you could feel their delight. They were screaming and laughing and rolling in the waves, and the next morning they were in the same hotel as us, and they were from the Midwest in Canada. And I said, God, you gals really seem to enjoy the water. And this girl, one of the girls said, we've never seen the ocean. I said, what? She said, we've never seen, we've never been in it, we've never experienced the ocean. It's, 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 it's magnificent. And you could just feel... I said, why don't you go out a little further? I said, it's not. I said, when it's calm, it's real nice out there. I said, oh, oh, oh. sharks. <laughs> I got laughed. I said, look, here's the facts. They don't like humans. 
They very rarely attack. If they're out there, they're not going to be bothered with you unless they're really particularly hungry. But the news media, let's keep us in fear. Let's say that 15,000 sharks are coming, get out of the water, and then at the bottom say, man, eh, it's very rare for sharks to attack humans. Read, 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 look, read, look and see what the intent is, and then look at the bottom. Sometimes they actually put the facts in, and uh, sharks don't really bother you that much www.micpeakperformance.com